Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Dark Souls 3 Lore Through. Um, back on live commentary. Um, Alright, so Grey Rat has uh, left for Lothric, which means that we should probably get a dialogue from Patches, although that might just be his Irithyll time. to Grey Rat anyhow. I haven't seen him at all lately. But if you know where he's carried off to, be sure and tell him. Now I need to stock up, and if he's gone and croaked, he'll have left a gold mine. <laughs> hmm. Off to Lothric, a castle of no return. That old thief's lost it if he thinks he has a chance in there. It's not like he's new to this game. What's got him deep? That old thief. He's really lost it this time. Hell. <laughs> so apparently you can't buy anything anymore. Now in vain and if you come. <laughs> I still don't know why that won't trigger. Maybe I have to beat Lothric for that to happen. Okay. <clears throat> So, now... Let's explore Lothric Castle. Um, and start, hopefully, to learn the story of what's going on in Lothric. Work of this. Ooh, he's red eye, I forgot. Probably wasn't the best way to dispose of him, but this guy like buffs him and it just gets really annoying. But he was a uh, of worshipping at this area. Um, which, uh, yeah, probably just a friend of his. This is, looks like a tomb in general. It's interesting, it's the first thing that you come across. And I forgot there was a buffer for that guy, too. Let's just uh, forego it in entirely. And just get to the next bonfire. How did that hit me? And so here's the place where you can drop down to the dancer arena. As we had seen previous, Apparently this is out of their jurisdiction. I guess because it's technically in the dancers arena. But I will let them go on ahead. So 
So this looks like a banquet area or something. Oh, it's interesting. It didn't reset them. Maybe it did reset them. I just, they looked like they're in the same similar position. More beheaded knights. There's an area up above there. Oh, I have no embers left. Hood of prayer, robe of prayer, skirt of prayer. Prince Lothric's hood. The prince, destined to be a lord of Cinder, was cherished by the royal family, despite being born into illness. A frail and shriveled child. <clears throat> His swaddling clothes, clothes were made of aged, coarse cloth used in ancient prayer and are all that he has ever worn. That's gross, for one thing. And the second thing is that I want to correct a mistake that I made uh, on the last video, or two videos ago, I can't remember, where I was trying to figure out whose wet nurse was what, and I didn't realize that the wet nurse the ownership of a wet nurse indicates the one taken care of by the wet nurse, not the one on which, on whose behalf it's... Anyway, so the prince's wet nurse would mean that there was the wet nurse for the baby prince. And I just, I wasn't thinking about it that way. So it makes more sense that Queen Lothric left and then needed, the Queen of Lothric left and needed a wet nurse to take care of uh, Prince Lothric here. And as... He is destined to be the Lord of Cinder. All of his upbringing was centered around that idea. Potentially related to Queen of Lothric's uh, leaving or her decision. Um, yeah. There's a hidden place over here. I don't know where it is. down. This is a divine miracle. Well, we're going to learn more about that miracle and who those guys are soon. I think we'll learn who they are now. So there's a painting of one. This one has big wings though, not those small wings. We get the wing knight set and a sacred bloom shield. Armor of the wing, winged knights who swore themselves to the angels. Worship of the divine messengers was viewed as heresy in Lothric and unrecognized by any of the three pillars of rule. This is believed to be why Gertrude, the heavenly daughter, was imprisoned in the lofty cell of the Grand Archives. This is the first time we've heard about Gertrude, and she's described as a heavenly daughter. And we've seen things about like angels and heavenly and and stuff like this. Um, and the angels as as being separate from the Lothric's three pillars. Yep, all these are the same. And then we have a sacred bloom shield, a treasure antique of the way of white, known to some as the sorcerer's bane. 
The large blossom design that graces the shield is said to be a sacred flame, and the shield is blessed with high magic protection. And you can parry spells only, maybe? But uh, Gertrude was described as a daughter. A daughter to whom, perhaps, is unclear. some things we should look at and talk about, but I want to make sure that I don't get attacked here. There's some kind of ambushy things and things from above on here. Ooh, these guys are way more powerful than their counterparts at the beginning of the game. Steel Soldier Helm, I'm sure we've gotten that chunk. Okay, yeah, there's the first of the quote-unquote ambushes. Someone was throwing a... Oh, come on. Someone threw an undead charm at us from above. But anyway, let's stop here for a second and talk um, about stuff. So, we can see these figures here flying in the air and um, they're called pilgrim butterflies and what they kind of look like is they look like the undead that were turning into trees at the high wall of Lothric and so what I believe is happening is that there are some undead that are kind of transcending into um, like they are growing into these things, they're growing like limb, um, like branches and branches off of those branches and they end up eventually turn, turning into these butterflies and they, they were all looking at a certain place and these are also flying up to a certain place and we'll interact with those guys <clears throat> a little more. The also thing that we can see is that the sun has been blotted out and looks a little bit like the dark sign. good materials. And uh, souls and such. Those are actually entities, by the way. Um, if I could go up there and hit them, they would have a health bar and everything. Which I think is cool. Just looking through Lothric. Never really... Okay, well there's, okay, so this is, okay, there's Vort's, this is where the dancer's fight is, okay, so we're right above it. dropping frames a little bit. I am bouncing down a video, so apologies if that's affecting this. So here's some more Lothric Knights, all dead. They don't come to life or anything. I mean, there is some actual Lothric Knights up here, but... this boy.
who's also praying for a fallen comrade. That was quick recovery. Let me get the Great Lance. Let's take a look at that. The lance features a long pole and was originally intended to be used by knights for jousting. This weapon is primarily used in charging attacks and would require tremendous strength and dexterity to be handled by a mere foot soldier. I wonder where they're going, but methinks that we might learn where that is. There's a pilgrim coming right up now. Oops. Very strange. So we can see a wyvern here. We actually can't get down here very easily. There's a little put fire everywhere, so we have to come down here. Also, this is a pus of man, so we want to kill this right away. Um, which I thought they dropped stuff. Um, but we're going to go collect everything around here. Lightning urns. Um, going to be some thieves up here, so let's hit him with log. <laughs> I thought he would actually come in at me. Actually, there's a whole bunch. I thought, I thought there was like three of these guys. Or more. stay far away so I can't really uh, get them. And I shouldn't say thieves, I think those are bandits. Oops. Alright. Still do Wrath of the Gods. Oh, come on. I got the Estus thing. Where is the Estus guy? I thought he was up on a uh, thing above us before, but then he, like falls down, but I guess... Huh. Like I think he's on this bridge up here, but... <sighs> yeah. Sorry for the rendering, if this is all choppy. There's a crystal lizard here. <sighs> oh, man. Okay. 
I'm gonna try to do it on Ember for a while. Which, oh man. I don't want to waste too many embers. So where is that guy? Oh, that's a fun move. Wow, no boys issues here. Okay. Large tight night shard only. Oh, here's where the guy was. Oh, oh I wasn't too handy. You get the sniper crossbow, crossbow and bolts. Drop down there, but we're not going to. Used by Kareem snipers. Its lengthy base makes aiming difficult. Okay. here. There's a lot of these offshoots in Lothric Castle, which I suppose makes sense. That's the way it would look like that would be, you know, everything kind of connected and stuff, so. Wow. This guy is also a pussed man. Note to self, never, uh, never film while you're rendering a video. This is, uh, this is intense. Didn't think it would be this bad. I mean, it's especially intense around these dragons. Um, okay. I have to drop down on the other side to... Looks like there was something that like crashed over here. Like this kind of looks like something fell in here. The stairs are all like crushed, or that's crushed, you know. I don't know. So it seems to me. Uh, I don't know if we get any specific lore on this later, but uh, it seems that um, oh, that did not even kill him. Wow! Now oh, there's the pussy man that could easily get us. And them, I guess. And I have the Undead Hunter Charm. Okay.
I wonder when that video is going to be done. It, it said it was like seconds from being done, but um, looks like it's still processing. Lothric Knights over here. Don't think you can, uh, I guess let's try to do this. I don't think you can pull them out one at a time, and I don't think there's anything here. <laughs> I thought there was maybe an item that I never used, but there actually is nothing there. But I was able to pull them out one at a time. Hopefully... Same luck with this guy. Literally nothing. Uh, you can fall down here, um, but and we can do that later and then avoid those guys, I guess. I don't know. Or fall down there and then homeward bound. Um, so... What's not uh, been made explicit yet, but I will kind of guesstimate, is that... There was a war going on in Mothric when we, uh, I mean, the, the battle is just over when the story starts, when the game starts. Um, between the angels and the, uh, oops. This is discouraging for, um... I'm also just wondering when my video is going to be done here. So yeah, I guess I just have to... If I can run past these guys, I guess. Kind of suck to try to defeat these guys every time I want to take a crack at that Outrider Knight. Oh, 
hopefully I can uh, be left alone. I said in like the first episode that I think it's programmed that they always end up with a little smidgen of health like that there's no way I didn't kill that guy I think they like give them all tears of denial or something okay so we have the irithyll rapier thrusting sword bestowed upon the outrider knights of the boreal valley this weapon is shrouded in frost and causes frostbite Every outright night one day devolves into a beast constantly hounded by Pawn of Sullivan's black eyes. Um. Get some more stuff. Twinkling, I think this would have, uh. Materials. Spirit Tree Crest Shield. A knight's shield engraved with a crest depicting a spirit tree. One of the enchanted blue shields. The Spirit Tree Crest Shield greatly reduces lightning damage. Okay. I want to get rid of these guys ASAP. But first, I'm gonna have to get rid of all these guys. Seems like the frame rate's better, maybe the uh of man is in these guys too. And we're gonna try our best to take it out with uh, this instead of trying to have to get up close. Forgot that they did that. Okay. So I do have to watch out for that. Okay. Huh. I thought I was less than halfway cursed. Man, the video is still rendering. I checked it, it said 48 seconds. Five, ten minutes later, it's still going. Oh, I don't think I need to do this anymore. Now that the puss of man has kind of been awoken, I guess, um, I think the, the, uh, the dragons are now, um, 
kind of not gonna fire on us. And I was saying earlier, I don't remember if I finished my thought, but like, um, seems like there was some sort of war here between the angels and, uh, and the Lothric knights, and, um, I don't know if what the state of it is anymore because you know there you still see angels you still see Lothric knights wandering around I don't know who like won but you can see like I mean the the uh, Lothric knights or the Loth, you know, just Lothric in general used their dragons against them, brought out all the firepower. Those guys, as per usual. Okay, I can stun him out of that. Doesn't like being on fire. Grab like an item or a weapon. I'm sure it was just like a upgrade material or something, but yeah, maybe it was the slab. No, I I have a slab. I mean, I don't think it's like armor or anything. So okay. Oops. I'll watch the replay and see if it's anything that I should really care about. Honestly, don't really need a lot of the upgrades from the Titan, the Twinkling, the Crystal Wizards now. I mean, I have all the Twinkling I'll probably end up using. And if I do need some more, I'll come back and farm it. Or not farm, but you know, get all these. So many upgrade materials, I think we should be fine. Oh, there's a guy here. Um, there's a red eye Lothric knight here that's really tough to deal with. It's 
Especially since he gets buffed. I say so low health. Hmm. Not paying attention. Too many things on my mind. The video at least is done rendering. <laughs> I can say that. Alright. So, but now we have a nice little shortcut that we can run. Uh, where are we? Run straight through. Although I'm getting a little bit of lag from the dragon still. Okay. Oh gosh. Yeah, this is terrible. Yep, fully healed. <sighs> Dead. Still buff from the other guy. Fully healed. Oh, boy, I hate this part. Oh, where's my stamina? Oh. oh, man. I'm only doing this once. <laughs> Delay though. Looks like he is wholly on his blade though. I wonder why that is. If they were at war with the angels. Maybe that isn't what that is. I don't know. And then we just have a normal <laughs> night here. It's not nearly as tough, but still sucks. Because I just hate them. Um, oh, I thought there was an item over here. Guess there might be an item over here. More embers, more embers. Um, I don't know if you get invaded here at all. I suppose at this point. Um, so I think we're going to kind of unlock everything here and then we'll, um, we'll take on the boss next time. Got a sunlight medal here. Um, this goes down kind of to the dancer area where we had saw a shortcut before. It's not open from this side. We'll go do that too. Um, 
Oh, is this... There's where I got it, it's okay. I'm gonna definitely summon him. Um, this is like where you drop down and get that thing, uh, which we are gonna do. But let me, uh... There's the red tear stone ring. Interesting. A ring set with a large red tear stone jewel. The stone is said to be a tear of mourning of the goddess Kaitha, and of course, tears are always more beautiful near death. Um. Rusted coin. Titanite scales. Uh huh, so we do need to unlock this because that goes up, I guess. Um, alright. Let's try to do this sunlight. And let's see how well we can take on these guys. Yeah, this kind of is hard because, um,. Let's turn this. Because he can spit that curse, and you don't really have a lot of area to move down there. So I have enough arrows. <laughs> How is my arrows getting stuck now? Sorry for the boring sequence, but it's just good practice. We'll end our lag permanently. chunk and an ember, but also a large titanite, and soul of the crestfallen, and some good stuff down here. I guess there is this area to hang out in. Um, is there anyone here? Oh man, I don't have a ton of healing here. Oops. Sunlight straight sword. That's big. Straight sword imbued with the strength of lightning. This featureless long sword contains the very power of the sun, perhaps as a relic of one sided adoration. Oath of Sunlight. Raise the sword aloft when praising the sun to boost attack and damage absorption for self and allies in the vicinity. The warriors of sunlight are cooperators from an ancient age. And the Braille Divine Tome of Lothric. Really, really good stuff here. A sacred Braille Tome from Lothric, filled with miracles for use by knights. Give to a storyteller to learn Lothric miracles. Um, it is said that no paladin inside Lothric Castle could fall, owing to the divine protection they enjoyed. It seems odd that they would be warring with the angels. trying to see if I have anything else to heal me just because it would be a little bit more convenient to just do this in one pass than to um, have to go rest at the bonfire. 
Let's go rest at the bonfire and then come up, um, up real quick. Alright. Kythus Chime. Sacred Chime blessed by Kytha, goddess of tears, rare, rare among, even amongst Kareem clerics. Affected by intelligence, a rare thing for miracle catalysts, and also agreeable with miracles that lean towards the dark. Its ex existence is concealed in the name of the Archbishop, as it is anathema. We've heard about the Archbishop of Kareem, uh, and that Morn was an apostle to him, but I don't know if we know exactly who that is. Okay. I think it'll probably be easiest to maybe we can run up run up here. I feel like it'll just be easier to take the dancer shortcut though. I was thinking maybe we could get in a shorter episode here, but um, there's just so many things here that um, it's not going to be. So the key is to always send this elevator back down because, you know, it's easy enough to... Oh my goodness. To do that. But, uh, if you have to pull that, then it's all over. I feel like that's a major loading zone. Alright. One last thing. There it is. More chunks. I wonder if I can max this out now. Are you joking that that one guy didn't die? That delay, like, I've talked about it a million times, whatever. Like, how would I know, not know that that's not that attack? Like, does he raise it at a slightly different angle? Is there any way to tell? Maybe I'm just naive about that, but it just seems like... It's luck if you happen to be able to uh, dodge that or predict it. Yeah, okay. And then there's one more night here, and then we should be good to end up this episode. Knight's ring, we had the high priestess ring, or the priestess's ring. Um, and to go along with that, we have the knight's ring, ring engraved with the portrait of a knight. In Lothric, the knight has long been considered one of the three pillars of the king's rule and were thus allowed to rear dragons. As we've kind of gone, gone over. Come on. Buff. This is a red eye, isn't it? Yeah. Should roll forward instead. Oh, come on. <laughs> Not forward now.
Okay, I was like, if that guy's not dead, I swear. Cool. Alright, great. So, we have a chest with Titanite scales on it, and we have the sunlight. Pray at the altar of sunlight. Which we will forgo. But we might, I might try to get 10 so that I can get uh, one of the miracles you get from that covenant. However, that's only really for uh, um, that's only really for if I wanted to PvP or, or anything like that, so. Alright, we have Cirrus, we have someone, and we have Igon, and we'll see who we can uh, summon, but we'll do that next time. So, uh, thanks for watching this episode, and next time, the Grand Archives. Bye!